Good morning. Welcome to Lancaster. Uh, we're honored to have all of you here. Uh, first, let me start by acknowledging a couple people who couldn't be here. Um, and that first is uh, Mayor Paris. As many of you know, he has, uh, has led this organization with unwavering vision and passion. And I think a lot of the, the stuff we're talking about today is a result of that vision. In addition, I want to uh, mention Supervisor Michael Antonovich, who has also um, <coughs> whose efforts have been without equal in establishing the relationships that you see before you today. Um, and of course, Christina Antonovich, whose grace and leadership has proven to be essential to Lancaster's success. She is a true friend of Lancaster. Thank you. <laughs> would also like to introduce the folks that are sitting behind me. Um, first, our Vice Mayor, Ron Smith. Norm Higling, Supervisor Antonovich's representative. <laughs> Councilman Marvin Christ. <laughs> Councilwoman Sherry Marcus. <laughs> Mark Bozzigi, our city manager. <laughs> uh, Robert Neal, our public works director. The, the mastermind behind our solar energy program, and our, and our deputy mayor, uh, Kit Izeto. I'd like to also invite our friends from Topco Energy, uh, James Quo. Topco Scientific, Charles Lee. PCM Chairman, Simon Cheng. and the Director General of Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Los Angeles, uh, Mr. Chung Ching Chong Kong. Yeah, you, uh, uh, Joshua? Joshua. Yes. To get you a little acquainted with Lancaster, we're going to start by with a short video. So if you, if you bear with us, we're going to start a video and get you acquainted with Lancaster. The city of Lancaster is the easiest and most affordable place in all of California for businesses to thrive. We recognize that in order for Lancaster to be successful, our businesses have to be successful. The pro-business attitude of our city council, along with the many programs and incentives offered by our city government, ensure that we are and will remain one of the most business-friendly communities in the state of California. The city of Lancaster is located in North Los Angeles County in a region known as the Antelope Valley. Nearby is Los Angeles, a world-class metropolis, a major business hub, the capital of entertainment, known for its many landmark attractions and cultural diversity. Los Angeles is also the nation's top international trade and manufacturing center harbor facilities, and Los Angeles International Airport provide direct access to the entire Pacific Rim. Southern California has the transportation infrastructure to move goods quickly and efficiently. These transportation corridors provide easy access between Lancaster and the world-class marketplace of Los Angeles. The Metrolink system provides passenger rail service, connecting Lancaster to the LA Basin. Commercial rail access to Lancaster and the region is provided by the Union Pacific Railroad. The city is working with the County of Los Angeles to make rail even more accessible with the potential development of an inland port. Nearby is General William J. Fox Airfield. This aviation facility handles air freight, along with private and charter aircraft. Land prices are much lower than those in the Los Angeles Basin, 
spacious parcels are available for a wide range of business and industrial activities. Millions of dollars have been invested in water treatment facilities that effectively reuse and recycle water to serve specialized agricultural needs and local industries. With its clear blue skies and favorable weather for flight, many giants of the aerospace industry, including Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and NASA, have made the Antelope Valley their home. Remarkable cutting-edge achievements in aviation technology have been developed at nearby Edwards Air Force Base. As a result, a large percentage of the population has managerial, professional, and technical skills. I moved my business to Lancaster, California almost 14 years ago. I found Lancaster to be a very pro-growth and pro-business community. I couldn't think of a better place to do business in Lancaster because of the support you get from the city and because of the quality workforce that's available here. With the region's affordable cost of living, local wages are extremely competitive. The local workforce has a reputation for productivity and stability. If we're going to attract today's 21st century company to Lancaster, we're going to need a 21st century workforce. That's why the city of Lancaster and Antelope Valley College have teamed up and formed a program so that the moment a company tells us they're coming to Lancaster, we start training that workforce. Antelope Valley College interacts and responds to the needs of local businesses, creating customized vocational training programs. Fortune 500 companies such as Bank of America, Starwood Hotels, and Rite Aid have all established operations facilities in Lancaster, taking advantage of the diverse, educated, and motivated local workforce. The city is forward-thinking in its pursuit of alternative energy sources. eSolar is an innovative company in the business of converting solar energy into electricity. E-Solar worked with contractors from Shenzhen, China, and manufacturing parts for them. The clear choice for business. Thank you and welcome again. About one year ago, our mayor set the goal of the community becoming an alternative energy capital of the world. Grand vision, of course, but how do you get there? Well, you start with having unmatched resources, sun, land, and wind. As you know, Lancaster has an abundant abundance of each of these resources. You then, merge the re you then merge these resources with people and companies who have an unending will to change the world. These are the ingredients that will make the city of Lancaster the alternative energy capital of the world. Next, you would ask, what does it mean to be the alternative energy capital of the world? We believe, as a city, that we can be the first city to partner, develop, and maintain energy that is used by the entire community. Not just the energy that is used by city hall and city facilities, but actually generate enough electricity to offset the use of the entire city. Measuring the success, we can then say that, and we can then say that 100% of the energy that is utilized by this community is, comes from alternative energy. As we set out to accomplish the, the mayor's goals, we started small. First with Solar Lancaster, which was a program that allowed residences to uh, retrofit their homes with solar panels, save energy, save money, and uh, save the world. Then we began the construction of solar facilities on city properties some of that which you can see here at City Hall today. And lastly, we began an uh, institutional program in which 26 schools will receive uh, solar facilities to offset their utility costs as well as their utility usage. Although small, these projects will generate close to 13 megawatts of power, or 13% of that stated goal, while employing hundreds of people. With some successes under our belt and some wind in our sails, it's time to go big. With the approval of this agreement with Topco Energy to Tuesday night, the city will begin its next phase of solar development. 
This phase consists of the construction of nearly 100 megawatts of power, and which will be sold on a wholesale basis to the utilities. The program will take many forms, from the development of large-scale facilities, cogeneration facilities, conversion technologies, and a distributed generation model that will, that will merge small kilowatt-sized plants integrated throughout the community. Partnering with Topco Energy allows the city access to the top solar companies in the world with an appetite to expand in the U.S. and specifically an appetite to expand in Lancaster. The city has made it its mission to merge the powers granted solely to government with the powers and strengths granted solely to business. To merge them in an effort to make these projects more efficient, more effective, and most importantly, more profitable. Not only will these projects and partnerships strengthen the economy, they will save lives and save the world. I will now turn it over to our Deputy Mayor, Kitty Seto, to talk about her and the Mayor's efforts. Kitty. Thank you, Mr. Cotto. As Mr. Cotto has just mentioned, Lancaster goal, Lancaster's goal is to be a global leader in the economy and to be the alternative energy capital of the world. This vision primarily stemmed from Mayor Paris, who unfortunately cannot be here today. With his vision and with the help of Supervisor Antonovich, as well as Christine Antonovich, we were able to embark on a journey to Taiwan and China last year where we met with numerous companies as well as top government officials who share the same vision. While we were there, we learned that these companies are the model for the alternative energy capital of the world. We took this knowledge, came back to Lancaster, and worked months and months to develop and to nourish these relationships. And today, I am proud to announce on behalf of Mayor Paris, our relationship with U.S. Topco Energy and U.S. PCM Energy. Christine Antonovich has been instrumental in forming these relationships with numerous companies, first with BYD and now with Topco and PCM. <coughs> Topco, along with their sister company, PCM, are indeed world-class companies. In a few moments, you will hear directly from the representatives um, of these two companies what exactly they're doing with the city of Lancaster. <coughs> we are very thrilled that these companies have approached the city of Lancaster, and we welcome their offer of partnership with Open Arms. While we were there, as I said, we learned about a lot about these companies. And our goal, as Mr. Caudill has mentioned, is to be the alternative energy capital of the world. And in order for us to do that, we have uh, our ideal location for solar. We have uh, the crucial relationships with these companies, as well as visionary leadership that we have with our council, as well as Mayor Paris. This day will mark the beginning of what we hope to be a fruitful relationship with uh, these companies. <laughs> Make no mistake, this is going to change the face of the Antelope Valley uh, in the next several years. And all of this ultimately is to create jobs for the city of Lancaster. In very short order, we hope to see the fruits of these relationships. Currently, as Mr. Cotto has mentioned, we are working with Topco to create and build solar generation projects and manufacturing and distribution firms, all in an effort to create new, more and new jobs in the city of Lancaster. And with that, I would like to turn it over to Norm Hickling from LA County and Representative Supervisor Antonovich to further uh, talk about these relationships that we have. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> it is indeed an honor to be here on behalf of Supervisor Antonovich and Christine Antonovich. Uh, you know, the supervisor uh, has been the supervisor for the 5th District for a long time now. And he's always had that forward vision, how to make the Antelope Valley a better place. Uh, through public safety programs to make it safer, make it more family oriented, but he's always had his eye on how do we increase the jobs and increase the technology that's out here and the education of possibilities. 
And for years now, he's had contacts throughout the world. He's an international traveler. I admire him for that, and it's an honor to work for him because he's always looking to the future and finding out new opportunities that he can bring to the Antelope Valley. And you're starting to see the fruits of that. And with the vision and the energy that the city of Lancaster has demonstrated in the last few years, you're starting to see companies like Topco Energy now wanting to come here to Lancaster because they recognize what a great place, something the supervisor has known for a long time, what a fantastic place, what the workforce, what the drive, the vision, and the ability to get things done. And the supervisor is just so pleased that these kind of uh, opportunities are now coming to fruition. So you're going to see even more in the future. Uh, in fact, as the supervisor, Christine and I were just talking just a few minutes ago, supervisor is just been getting ready to come back from uh, his recent trip over to China and uh, again looking at new opportunities, uh, being able to talk about what is available here in the Antelope Valley. And you saw that in the, the fantastic video. Uh, it is my honor now uh, to James Guo, who is the Vice President of Operations for U.S. Topco Energy. So, James, thank you so much. To begin with, I'd like to thank Mark and Jason <laughs> for the hard work and the hardworking representatives of the uh, city of Lancaster. Under the leadership of the visionary Mayor Rex uh, Paris, Lancaster has truly demonstrated itself to be a business-friendly city that embraces renewable energy. U.S. Taco Energy, U.S. PCM Energy, and all of our affiliates are committed to do our part in responding to the expanding global prices of the shortage of energy. To do so, well, especially in light of the $112 barrel of oil that just hit the news today, and the dangers of the pop, uh, dangers posted by the nuclear generation. To do so in the, in the United States, we envision a renewable energy science park, where like by like companies will use as a base of operation for research and development, for sales and marketing, for assembly and manufacturing. We believe Lancaster is unique, uniquely suited for that purpose. This uh, forthcoming agreement of up to 100 megawatts in solar farm development is just a beginning of a long-term relationship that we hope we, we can develop with Lancaster. I would also like to uh, extend our gratitude to the two gentlemen next to me, Mr. Charles Lee of Topco Scientific and uh, Mr. Simon Chen of USPCM Energy and uh, Powercom. Each of them are in charge of their respected, respected public companies in Taiwan. Without their full support behind this project, it would never have gotten off the ground. Finally, I'd like to introduce and thank Mr. Changchen Gong, Director General of Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Los Angeles. Mr. Gong is and will be instrumental in bringing all interested parties together now and in the future. Please uh, welcome Mr. Gong. I just came back from Taiwan uh, on Wednesday afternoon. Still have jet lag. But when I get a phone call from Joshua yesterday morning, my first day back to my office, uh, he told me uh, good news regarding this uh, important uh, and meaningful uh, project. I said, so I will make a rearrangement for my uh, today's schedule. I'm very pleased to come over here. Uh, it's my first time to come to the city of Lancaster. Though I know uh, Supervisor Michael and Tom Rich, he led the delegation to visit Taiwan last year. I remember it's March. He said uh, the, uh, the trip to Taiwan is very great, very successful. So I think uh, it is uh, bring some uh, important uh, results like today. Uh, I always remember uh, one of the greatest uh, uh, President of the United States, Mr. John Kennedy. He has a famous saying, is, uh, don't ask what uh, the country can do for you, as you, as you can do, what you can do for your country. So I don't know anything about uh, solar energy. I don't know anything about the uh, important uh, future energy industry. But I know that there is a project is very meaningful 
to not only to the state of California, but to the uh, the world in the future because it is important uh, energy industry, and I can assure you, the uh, the partnership from Taiwan in this important project, it is very very reliable, very uh, successful in their technology, in their know-how, in their management. So I believe that I can get uh, my endorsement for this important project. Uh, you will see many important projects coming in the uh, great city of Lancaster and in the state of California because uh, my office will do everything to, uh, to be of help. Uh, we had uh, our commercial division, the, the chief, Mr. James Wu, he, uh, because it's one of our important uh, industry in Taiwan. We are the government of Taiwan. We are pushing. So I, I can make my best uh, effort in this regard. And uh, my best wishes for the joint venture. Thank you. I'd like to introduce and welcome Charles Lee, our uh, president of U.S. Um, uh, president of Topco Scientific, as chief executive officer for U.S. Topco Energy. Thank you, James. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. Uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity to be here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thanks for all the people uh, who uh, are helped this. Uh, event uh, to be uh, happen today. I also arrived last night. Uh, I cannot sleep this morning uh, because it's too exciting. <laughs> yeah, for the past few days, uh, we are busy in Taiwan to discuss uh, how to support uh, this project to be a uh, success. So uh, last night, uh, with the chairman of uh, PCN, uh, US PCN, uh, Mr. Zhang, uh, we discuss. We also discuss a uh, very long time. Uh, we believe uh, we can uh, support this project uh, with 100 percent safety soon. Uh, in light of uh, ever decreasing of uh, fossil energy source, uh, we all know that the renewable energy uh, is the future. Uh, however, uh, the earthquake in Japan uh, demonstrate that the uh, we once uh, presumed a safe nuclear energy is uh, in, indeed very dangerous. At Topco Scientific and the US Topco and all of our uh, affiliate, uh, we strive to reduce uh, the dependence of uh, fossil fuel and the nuclear energy. As a company whose core business uh, in the uh, semiconductor, uh, Topco Scientific and the US Topco offer the uh, most uh, professional solar PV technology and the service to our customer worldwide and has been the leading company on the development, uh, design, installation, maintenance of PV projects. As a representative of uh, both US Topco Energy and uh, Topco Scientific and on behalf of all Topco employees around the world, I think, I think uh, the city of Lancaster uh, for, this, uh, uh, for this partnership. Our entire Topco group will take our years of experience and the expertise to full support this and the all future projects with the city of Lancaster. I thank you again for the wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lee. I now like to introduce uh, Simon Chang, Chairman of uh, Powercom and uh, US PCM Energy. Good morning. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Lancaster City and uh, US Topco and uh, Joshua. I think this is a combination, maybe the best combination in the, in the world. I think, as in this uh, uh, this 50 megawatt project was our portion in this uh, in this position. Uh, we are the module and the inverter uh, supplier this product. I think thanks uh, the Powercom Group, our company may be the only one in the world 
who is from the polysilicon to power plant. Actually, the company, we are 24 year old company, 2,600 people, IPO in Taiwan already 11 years. So this is, a, we have a 24 years history for the company. So now today, uh, we are very proud of everybody can do the solar power plant. But we already have a solar power plant in Thailand, which efficiency is 86 to 90 percent, which is number one in the world. In the world, solar power plant, everybody around 80 percent, but we are 86. If you calculate 20 years lifetime, 6 percent, 20 years, you have one, 122 percent higher than all the competitors. So I think that's our strength. And uh, we think this time, Taiwan is the semiconductor is number one in the world. That's the reason why in solar cell production, Taiwan technology so far, maybe in the technology side is a, a number one in the world. So that's the strength from the manufacturer, good quality of Taiwan product. So I think why uh, we are uh, better uh, than all the people because the most important uh, solar industry today is the from polysilicon. So we are the only one group in Taiwan who has a polysilicon wafer, cell, module, inverter, and the power plant. The most of people who is from polysilicon to power plant, but they don't have an inverter. 26, 24 years ago, I set up a company. I am Powercom today is the number one UPS manufacturer in Asia. So UPS is uninterruptible power supply, so which from DC to AC. I using this technology change to inverter. Solar power plant is DC technology, then transfer to the AC, you can using the electricity. So this is a strength, it's a most of the solar company. They don't have a history in the technology. So this combination to make this a power plant is a very reliable and the best in the world. And I'm very happy to join with the US TACO, who is the number one system integrator. And we, with Joshua, 30 years in USA development. And thank for the Lancaster City that are so environment to for future people. I do believe this project will be very, very successful because with Joshua in front and the two IPO uh, in Taiwan, uh, US TACO, who is the system integrator, Powercom, who is number one uh, power plant already have a successful 5 megawatt in Thailand already running, which is number one in Taiwan, who is outside uh, Taiwan have a power plant. But in Taiwan, we also have a power plant. So I think we have a lot of it, and in Italy also. So I do believe this combination will make Lancaster, Lancaster City very successful and have the best power plant in the world. I do appreciate everybody joining the meeting here. Thank you. Well, it's obvious with the efficiency of their panel and their product, and the efficiency of our son, um, we can de <laughs> we can definitely change the world. And being part of it today uh, gets me excited, and hopefully it excites you as well. With that, um, we'll close the events today. If there's any questions after the event, you can be free to uh, feel free to ask anybody up here. Thank you very much for coming.